right now I'm hanging upside down inside of the trommel cage trying to fix a little bit of the blunder that I made. When I built this, I put the middle rim on one section and attached it. But as you can see here, it's getting caught up on the zip ties. And I tried pushing a second set of zip ties between each section. Unfortunately, that was kind of a problem too. So what I'm currently doing, I've taken a few sections off. So I have some room to work with the screen and I'm matching it up and uh, working on sliding it through so I can match uh, the two screens together and have the overlap. So on the one, I'm counting one, two, three square sections in, but if from the outside, uh, the uh, one closest to the rim, I'm only one, two sections. And then for the other hole, it's reversed. One, two on the inside screen, and then on the other one, closest to the rim under the overlap, it's one, two, three. It's a little bit of a trick uh, to get this to go. I'm using two zip ties. Uh, starting here, I'm catching part of it underneath, pushing it up through, crawling back out, pushing the other part through, and then connecting this piece and zipping it all together. Um, it's a lot easier to do that laying on my back upside down where most of my weight is on the first section of the rim than to try and do it one-handed holding myself on the middle rim. Uh, no, this is not a squirrel cage even though I'm hiding out under here. And I've already had one of the micro assistants jump in and try to claim it as a uh, squirrel cage for themselves. Uh, kids will be kids.